fondly called the Ben by locals, Ben Nevis towers above the town of Fort William. It's Britain's highest mountain at 1345 metres. There are two main walking routes up the Ben. The mountain track, sometimes called the tourist track or the pony track, which is used by most walkers, including myself today. The Carmore Derrigaret route presents a more challenging climb for more experienced walkers. So I'm in Glen Nevis today and I'm going up Ben Nevis. So this is my third last Munro and I've basically gone from two of the most remote Munros to probably the busiest Munro. So Vagin and Rustak Moor were um, very remote and only met one person. And this is uh, going to be busy. So that's the start of the bay up there. But, uh, it's holiday time, so lots of people about it. So I'm not sure how much filming I'll get done. And it's eight pounds to park, just in case you come here. Eight pounds. An ancient giant, Ben Nevis was once a massive active volcano, which exploded and collapsed inwards on itself millions of years ago. At the summit, there's evidence of an explosion in the form of light-coloured granite. Translated from Gaelic, Ben Nevis has two meanings. Either mountain with its head in the clouds, thanks to its iconic mist-shrouded peak. It can also mean venomous mountain. You choose. 125,000 people climb Ben Nevis every year. My preferred route of ascent would have been the Carmel Jerry route. However, as I was keeping Carmel Jerig as my final Monroe, I had to take the tourist track to the summit. Oh my goodness, it's warm. I think I've picked the warmest day so far this summer to climb Ben Nevis. But this is a nice, uh, well-made, gradual path. I'm sure it's going to get steeper. But I get really good views um, of some of the memoirs. So that's Carnavain up there, the last Monroe on the Ring of Steel, or the first, depending on what way you do it. And that is um, Stopban and Malak Macorian. Um, and you can see the bee lack in between the two. Lovely. Busy. I think there's a school party and a club all in green. They've all got green, bright green tops on. <laughs> oh, busy, busy. So I think that's halfway locking, which I think must mean we're about 700 metres, hopefully. And I've been on the go for just under two hours, about an hour and 40 minutes, I think. The views are shining. Oh, you can see right out to Loch Linney and over to our Gower. I think that's Conna Glen, maybe going up there. Um, see where I'm pointing. Yeah, just up there. I think that's Conna Glen. But, uh, oh, it's warm.
So we're getting a bit of a cloud inversion now. So I think that's the summit plateau up there. I can see those cliffs at the left hand side. A slog. What a slog this is in the heat. Oh goodness. Making slow progress. This is about three and a half hours now since I left. So getting there. A lot of the peaks to the west are in the cloud. That was the forecast. So nearly there. Not much more ascent. <sighs> Number 280. Wow. Only two in rows to go. How cool is that? <sighs> What's a day? I can't believe it. Two to go. And that's going to be my last one. Carmore Jerig. Can't see much of the arete. Um, I think you must come up from the arete there. There's a cairn on top of these uh, rocks there. But that's uh, Anna Moor. And you can see the ski, um, the ski runs and Anna Beg. And then the grey quarries over there. Back there is Skewer Eelmore. <sighs> oh, look, you can see Shalian. <laughs> so pointy from here. Wow. Wowie. But there's lots of cloud further west. So, so lucky. Look at all these people. I managed to get a wee summit photo. Someone took my photo just to prove I've been there, but oh, it's like ants. amazing. Oh, wow. Cool, I'm going to get some lunch. Chill out for a wee while.
How gorgeous are these views? So that's Loch Linney there, heading right out to sea. And that's Loch Eel there, and obviously Fort William is down there. And from the summit you could actually see Loch Lochy as well. But it's hard to pick out the Monroes over there because there's so much cloud. I'm going to get this layer off, it's roasting. Um, it's just um, quarter to three, so it was just about the four hours um, to get up to the summit and it'll probably take me three to come down. Nearly all the hills are clear now. Beautiful. Lovely. Got all the way down there to go. All the way down there. And then down there. <laughs> So that's me back at the van. That was a really good day. I'm tired and though I'm knackered. Oh, that heat and that long walk back. So thanks so much for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.